really did it. Who he really did it. Three cheers for the hero of the Centurion. Well, this is a little much. You are the one who came up with the plan, and you're the one who led us to victory. I think you've earned a little pride, don't you? I don't know. No, you're right. I fought to make this mission a success. That is something to be proud of. Victory is a fine thing. But this win feels a little more significant than usual, wouldn't you say? Ouais, on a détruit une, euh, une forteresse en entière. Claude's precise tactics, the captain's dauntless command. It all meshed together perfectly. I'm sure everyone on the ship is sharing in this victory. In light of this achievement, even I can't deny his ability. Uh. Kai. Ça va foutre un putain de bordel quand ils vont découvrir que c'est un espion. Claude, the celebration's going to go all night if you don't give them some kind of speech. Me? You gave one just before the mission, didn't you? Surely you can bookend this with another. Fine. Everyone, I'd like to say something. I'm gonna be honest with you all. Even I wasn't sure we could make this. I wondered if we should head back. This ship will keep moving forward, but when we look to the future, death stares back at us. We carry on, knowing that we may lose our friends. We may lose our own lives. It's terrifying. Sometimes I want to run away from it all, turn this ship around, but, but that's not why we're here. We're here to move forward to protect families back home and to carry on the will of our fallen comrades. The captain made a decision, and I believed in him. That's all I can ask of you, to believe in his choices and mine. All we can do is work and fight to the best of our abilities to see that decision to its conclusion. Every soldier on this ship has to stick together, stay strong, and strive toward our goals. Someone has to fight this fight. If we don't take on that burden ourselves, this war will never end. Our children, lovers, friends, sooner or later, the war will find them. They will get hurt, and they will die. Until a hero rises to finish the fight, these tragedies will keep happening. We all know that by now. Every one of us can be that hero. We can seize victory with our own hands and end the war once and for all. To honor those heroes who have already fallen in battle. To make sure tomorrow's heroes aren't taken from us today. Let's win this and come home with our heads held high, with more honor than any medal can give. Let them tell us that this mission is impossible. We're still going to finish it. We choose victory. Yeah! Yay! <laughs> oh. What's the matter now? Scaredy Claude making a comeback? N no, that's not. You know what to do, Miles. Of course. Camera's all set. All right, boys and girls, gather round. Who wants a picture with the future hero? <laughs> Wait, everyone. Please calm down. <laughs> Get a load of Claude's face, Kai. Hi? Ah. <sighs> Kai. Ooh, que c'est frustrant. Le truc avec Kai. Oh la vache. J'aime pas quand ça prend du temps comme ça. Alors qu'on est au courant. Troops morale has recovered. I think it's safe to say they've reached a new level of trust too. Seeing is believing. 
They needed proof to unite them. Words are rarely enough to earn trust, I think. Actions speak far louder. A victory of this magnitude is just the push our operation needed. Naturally, a single victory and a rousing speech aren't going to solve all our problems. But I'd say that's enough work for one day. Mr. Wallace, you've done a fine job indeed. Ah, oh, pitié que ça sorte. Le fait que ça soit un espion. Hey, wait up! I said wait, damn it! Something's going on. What the hell's wrong with you? Let me go. Can't you at least tell me? I said let go! I'll let go if you promise not to just run away again. Come on, what the hell's gotten into you? Please, just leave me alone. Like hell I will. This is my problem, Raz. It's got nothing to do with you. Si, un peu. T'es une espionne. It's my problem too. Why? Because I'm... I mean, because you... Because we're friends, aren't we? Friends, huh? Fine. You want to know what kind of friend I really am? That's... Wait. No. I've betrayed everyone. Claude, Riley, you... Everyone. It makes sense, right? I never could say no to my brother. Ever since we were little. I'd always do whatever he told me. I was always just his messenger. His helper. I... Lena. But I... I can't take this anymore. I can't do this. I can't just do whatever my brother tells me. I can't keep betraying everyone. <sighs> Get off me! Just shut up. Just shut up and stay like this for a second. <sighs> Listen to me, all right? I don't know what you did, and I'm not gonna ask. I don't give a shit, you understand? You're not a traitor. And even if you were, it... it doesn't matter. <sighs> How could it? I mean, I, ever since we were kids, I... I... I love you. Aww. What kind of guy would I be if I can't forgive a single mistake from the girl I love? <coughs> Elle a trahi tout le monde. Tout le monde a failli mourir. Etc. 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 It's been hard on you, right? And you regret all of it. And you're you're not gonna do it again, right? Then forget all this shit. Ah, on peut détruire l'émetteur là, genre qui est par terre, on a un coup de pied dedans. You don't have to worry. Nobody's gonna know if you don't say anything. And if you want to vent, I'll always listen. You know Claude and Riley, they don't notice anything. If it all goes to hell, I'll take the blame for you. So you... I mean, you should... You can rely on me as much as you want. Got it? Doesn't matter who I have to fight. The imps, the feds, or... Or even Kai. I'll give my life to protect you. <rire> euh, ça commence à être un peu bizarre genre son discours donc si elle passe à l'ennemi lui aussi il passe à l'ennemi là c'est super là c'est de mieux en mieux l'équipe cool so uh nothing i give you my big dumb once in a lifetime confession and you got nothing to say don't ask huh i what you dumbass! Keep your voice down! 
How do you expect me to trust some idiot who blurts out confidential information where anyone can hear? Bud... Thank you. I feel like... I can breathe again. <sighs> About the other stuff... Can I have some time to think it over? Oh shit! I did it! I actually said it! <laughs> Détruit le truc. Le transmetteur, je sais pas ce que c'est, mais c'est. Oh putain. Je le fais pas, je m'en fous. Doctor, I just heard from Marie. The little girl woke up? Ah. She did indeed. I was just finishing a simple checkup. Je dis toujours que c'est une Valkyrie et c'est elle qui fait fonctionner le, le bateau. Je sais pas pourquoi, mais. But it does seem like she might have a case of amnesia. <sighs> so, what's your name? Angie. Angie. On vient de le voir. Short for Angelica. Il aurait dû mettre des points d'interrogation en premier. Hi Angie. Do you remember anything besides your name? Mm -mm. As tu des pouvoirs magiques? Hmm. Judging by her appearance, I don't think she's from the Empire. If she doesn't remember anything but her name, we don't have a whole lot to work with. I'm sorry. I'm not good at remembering. Mm, oh no, it's okay. Just take your time. You don't have to try and force it. I'd prefer to have her dropped off at some town. But seeing as we're in enemy territory, that might be tricky. I'm sure the amnesia is only temporary, so I'd say our best choice is to let her rest and keep an eye on her. Can you look after her, Doctor? Leave it to me. I was a pediatrician before all this, if you can believe that. <laughs> Prends une arme quand même sur toi, mec. Come on, Riley. Let's get going. All right. Bye, Andy. Uh. Hey, she's all alone, isn't she? Riley. <laughs> Doctor, is she strong enough to walk? Certainly. Aside from the memory loss, she's got a clean bill of health. Maybe you could show her around the ship a little, Riley. You think that'd be okay? As long as you don't enter the restricted areas. She's been bedridden for a while. Some exercise would do her good. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. What do you think, Angie? Wanna go for a walk with me? Okay. Ils font confiance tellement facilement à tout le monde, c'est abusé. On est en guerre. Vous vous rappelez, on est en guerre. Ah, on va parler de XO. Sûrement. I apologize for my absence. I'm afraid the laboratory called me back in for some time. I've just reviewed the reports. Ship 2 was discovered at the bottom of the crevasse, I believe. Yes, my lord. Ooh. <laughs> well done. Very commendable, you two. Oh. Thank you, my lord. But, regrettably, I cannot say the same for the choices that followed. <laughs> Torture? If you had reported as instructed and followed its course instead of attacking it, they might not have escaped. I believe my instructions were very clear, were they not? Yes, my lord. I'd rather we don't have another miscarriage. You understand? It's because I love the both of you. <laughs> yes, I do this because I love you very, very much. You know that, don't you? <laughs> Now then, let's begin the calibrations. Y yes, my lord. Thank you for your kindness. 
You needn't thank me. I do all of this for you, my dears. After this, everything should go much more smoothly. Yes, without a doubt, there will be no more failures. Ooh, c'est quoi cette calibration? Merde. Je voulais voir ce que c'est. Gift from above. Dans cette heure, vous pouvez passer à la page suivante sans lire les scènes. Là, il y avait un nouveau potentiel que je fais à protéger. Potentiel de rase enragé sans admirateur secret. Ça doit sûrement être juste des cinématiques. Oh, on va les regarder. On va les regarder. Être près de Kai le pousse à mieux se battre, défense et puissance d'attaque anti-char accrue. Il est devenu super puissant, c'est con qu'il soit juste un... Enfin, ju juste un assaut, quoi. Et dans un camp, l'Uranor ram... ses proches resté à la base, au cours lequel le combat augmente à la fois sa précision et sa défense. Allez, c'est l'heure de l'histoire. Andy, would you please hand me the wrench with a 12 on it? 12, 12. Oh, here it is. That's the one. Thanks. Hey, you can go play in the mess hall if this is boring. I'm sure someone there would love to hang out with you. And then again, they'd probably fight over you. It seems everyone likes having you around. You're like the guardian angel of this ship. <laughs> Angel? It means you're beautiful, inside and out. C'est parce que c'est le, le moteur du bateau, c'est ça? Nuh uh, Riley! You're the prettiest on the ship! Oh, outside dear. and in! Aw, that's what makes you so sweet. <sighs> I wish we could keep you aboard forever. But not all dreams come true. Do I? Have to get off the boat? Not now, but eventually, yes. This ship is headed for the front lines of battle. We can't just take a little girl into a combat zone. Merci. Salut Orion, ça va? Bienvenue. I'm sure the captain will take good care of you. Maybe drop you off at the next port. Hopefully you can get your memories back by then. My memories. Are you scared to remember? Mm -hmm. I understand. Not all memories are happy ones. La, 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 la. But it's sad that you can't remember the people you love. Love. Like family and friends. Maybe even a boyfriend. I do have 10 ans, putain. Oh, I'm pulling your leg. Come on. We've still got a lot of repairs to do. Let's see. The Ragnoline chamber's been looking unstable. I assume it's just wear and tear, but I guess I'll have to shut everything down and test it first. Hmm. Fall 5, I think. Huh? It says it's tired and stressed out. Huh. Wow. <sighs> You're right. Bell 5 does look pretty worn. Toujours malade. Ça va, on avance dans l'histoire. Angie, you... You 
really are an angel. Il y a des choses bizarres qui se passent. Ça, je suspecte la petite fille d'être une Valkyrie qui est le moteur du bateau. C'est très bizarre. Angie Capitaine, il sait quelque chose. Il faut l'interroger. Ça veut dire Angie peut être caught dans la crossfire. C'est ce que j'ai dit. Nous sommes déjà déjà en profondeur dans l'ennemi territoire, pour ne pas dire rien de la cold. Mais le capitaine a décidé que si elle se lève maintenant, nous ne pouvons pas garantir sa sécurité. La connerie, il sait quelque chose. Mais il n'a pas l'air trop trop clair sur l'idée de lui-même. C'est quand tu as un mecha mesurant une trentaine de mètres et ayant des lasers sortant de ses bras je sais pas, je voudrais bien, je sais. <rire> Mais je pense pas. Et ils partent plutôt dans le. dans le folklore en fait, dans genre un peu le fantasy avec des Valkyries, magie et tout ça. Plutôt que technologie avancée en fait. Ah, ça aurait pu être cool franchement d'avoir des robots. Un peu géant, enfin je sais pas, un peu front mission quoi. That goes without saying. Until her memories return and she's back home, I'll protect her. It's my responsibility. Mais c'est. Oh, that settles that. I'll go tell Angie the good news. C'est pas une humaine. Hey, wait. I need to ask you about. Wow. She's completely smitten. C'est un monstre. Faut l'ouvrir en deux, faut voir ce qu'il y a à l'intérieur. Very good, Angie. Splendidly done. <rire> Doctor, how's Angie? Riley! Elle a des pouvoirs télékinésiques et tout, ça tue. Angie, you. <rire> Wait, what's that smell? Blood? What happened? Are you hurt? Um, well. <rire> Not to worry, Riley. Angie's in perfect health. We just treated a soldier who shot himself in the foot. It was an emergency, and we're understaffed, so Angie assisted me with the operation. Excuse me. Elle a 13 ans maximum, et elle t'aide à opérer un mec. You help treat a bullet wound? That's amazing. No, it's fool. No, no. She was a little scared of the blood, of course. She was very brave and calm the whole time. That girl really is an angel. Even when I was covered in blood and panicking, she just held my hand and smiled. Oui, c'est parce qu'elle sait pas ce que c'est la la douleur, le sang et tout. Ah mon Dieu. De la technomancie, ah, c'est pas mal ce terme. Ouais, c'est ça. Thanks to her, I managed to work through the pain, and this damn quack barely gave me any anesthetics. I'll take that as a compliment. That reminds me, I need to disinfect your wound. Let me get the strong stuff. Ah! Stay away from me, you madman! Sergio, you're scaring him. <laughs> Merely a joke, Angie. Donc elle peut contrôler les gens aussi. Would you mind disinfecting his foot then? Apparently only you can make him feel better. Okie dokie. We've got ourselves a little nurse on staff. Angie. Oh my God. Pardon me, 
is Angie here? Angie's at the sick bay right now. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, I just wanted a hand peeling the potatoes. Uh, can you let me know when she gets back? Sure, no problem. Hey, Angie! Oh, Riley! It's just you. Angie's helping out in the galley. Well, I'm on laundry duty, so I was wondering if she'd like to join me. Yeah, I'll tell her. Angie, I've got some candy drops for you. Donc, tout le monde devient fou. Tout le monde s'en fout. Cette personne qui voit ce qui dit Ah, tiens, un peu bizarre, non Non. Oups, sorry, Riley. I was hoping you were someone else. Oh well, I'll just wait here until. Get out! Jeez, Angie, Angie, Angie. That's all anyone can say. I want to play with her too, you know. But if this keeps up, I'll never get to see her. <sighs> no, Angie's not here. Uh, Riley? It's me. <gasps> Angie! S sorry about that. Come on in. <sighs> I played with so many people today. <laughs> Seriously, everyone's pulling you left and right. Don't be afraid to tell them no, alright? But I want to help out. Except now you're really tired, aren't you? I can tell. Mm. You're still recovering. Don't push yourself so hard. Sorry I worried you. But... But what? I don't remember anything about before. So I want to make new memories. With everyone here. Angie. Oh, but I'm okay. I feel fine. Tu es un réacteur. Euh, comment ça s'appelle Ragnit Ouais, t'es un ré réacteur nucléaire. T'es un réacteur nucléaire sur pattes. Ah oui, et Raz aussi est... Oh. Il est du côté de Kai, en fait. Fin de Lina. Genre, il l'aime et tout ça. En gros, si jamais elle passe du côté ennemi, bah Raz, il va la suivre. C'est trop bien. On peut faire confiance à personne. Super. Making memories Yep, we're going to give Andy a night she'll never forget. Something she can remember us by, even after her amnesia's cured. Who knows what else she'll remember? I don't know why, but I get the impression that girl feels pressured by something. Yeah, you may have a point there. She's always running around trying to assist anyone she bumps into. Last time, I saw her helping Andre in the engine room. He was impressed by how quickly she picked things up. Yes, I know. She may have potential as a nurse, but she'd make an amazing mechanic one day. She's a smart girl, and a hard worker to boot. Uh. That's part of her charm. It's no wonder the whole crew is head over heels for her. I think she's worried about her amnesia, though. She does all these chores to distract herself from it. A reactor quantique. So, will you help me? It's not like we got anything better to do. You gonna tell us the plan or what? Mm -hmm. Drum roll, please. Je suis sûr qu'elle a des pouvoirs psychiques, genre elle peut lire dans les pensées ou un truc comme ça, ou ressentir ce que les gens ressentent en fait. Can anyone remind me why we're throwing a summer festival in the dead of winter? Quit whining. Come on, at least try to look happy. Here she comes. Um, I saw the 
enough to come to the mess hall and... Happy Feast of all spirits, Angie! Joyeuse fête des esprits, quoi? Spirits is a Gaulian holiday to show our love for the spirits of the earth. It's also a day when we give presents to people we love. Oh, really? But I didn't bring anything. That's fine. All that matters is that you have fun. So here, start us off, Raz. I got you something real good. The finest bacon from Einhemt. Um... It smells kind of funny. Huh? Einhemd? How many months ago was that? That's too bad. Maybe jerky would have lasted this long. You really thought rotting meat would make a good present? <laughs> uh oh, but... But I really like it. Thank you, Raz. All right, next. Your turn, Kai. Hmm... Here you go. And this is... a bullet. Don't you think that's dangerous for a kid? Made it myself. It opens up into a medicine bottle. I put a home remedy for upset stomachs in there. So you could even eat spoiled bacon and be just fine. Uh, okay, next. Your turn, Claude. Uh, sorry. This was the best I could do on short notice. It's special stationery the Navy uses in the control room. Wow, it's so pretty! Writing nourishes the brain, so maybe it can help you get your memories back. Hmm, that was actually pretty thoughtful. For Claude? And last but not least, it's my turn! C'est juste des, des feuilles de papier. All that build up for this? It's just a standard issue army jacket. Well, well, yeah, but it's one of my cute ones. And I altered it to fit Angie. Here, try it on. Wow. So warm. A little big on me, but. Thanks, Riley. And Raz and Kai and Claude and. You all, I promise I won't forget you. Never ever. Ce que je ferais moi, c'est lui faire peur. You gave me so much. These presents, these memories. I'll remember them forever. Good work, squad. This mission wasn't exactly like our usual ones, but I think it went pretty well. Dans deux cinématiques, Angie aura de ses vêtements total. I'd say it went fantastic. She got that right. Moi, je lui ferais peur pour voir euh, ce qui se passe si elle s'énerve ou si elle a elle est apeurée. Genre si le bateau, si le bateau commence à s'énerver. I love you too, Angie. Oh mon dieu. Chapter 12, Midnight Run. Eh bah ben, c'était bizarre, c'était très bizarre cet intervalle, interlude, machin, truc. Allez, de retour à l'histoire. Up until now, the Cetirion's gone from battle to battle with no resupplying in between. When the ship first left the coast, it carried with it more than enough fuel and ammo to complete the mission. However, Thanks to all the unforeseen obstacles we've encountered. The Imperial ambushes, our forced detour. Our supplies are already running thin, and we're nowhere near the Empire's capital yet. In particular, there's the backup engine. It requires an enormous amount of ragnite to keep it running. Right now, 
we just charge on forward, there's a very real chance we'll run out of fuel. And if we get stranded in the middle of a frozen wasteland, it wouldn't just mean the failure of our mission. It would be certain death for everyone on board. There's no other way around it. We need to restock our fuel and ammunition before they're gone entirely. So, our next destination is a port town on our new route. The Empire has been using it as a supply hub. This is no ordinary resupply mission. The fate of everyone on board the Centurion hangs in the balance. Salut Alix, salut euh, Rick, bienvenue. Ton envie de tous tuer et de, et de et les foutre dans la soupe. Dans de la soupe, oui Non mais, Angie, c'est pas une enfant, c'est un monstre. C'est un monstre qui a été créé, je suis sûr. Une Valkyrie ou je sais pas quoi. Je peux pas lui faire confiance. Alors tout le monde est accro à, à la petite fille, là. elle vient juste d'apparaître et tout le monde est là. Ah, elle est trop bien c'est un monstre, faut l'ouvrir en deux et regarder ce qu'il y a dedans, non Je sais pas. En tout cas, moi c'est ce que je ferais. No matter how far we go, all you can see is snow. It's scary to think what would happen if we ran out of fuel. <rire> Have you heard of the Minette? Oh là là. The Minette? In the last war, there was a ship called the Minette with a crew of 20. They got stranded and drifted for days. But when they found the ship after the war, there was only one body. All they found of the other 19 was just a big pile of bones in the kitchen. Wow. Don't say that. We would never go that far. One body, a hundred, it doesn't matter. We're still going to... Luf! The Centurion isn't like the Minette. We're not just drifting out here. Besides, we're surrounded by snow. At least fresh water won't be an issue. Anyone ever tell you you're too optimistic for your own good? <laughs> We've got to keep our heads up somehow. But we can't keep this up forever. Please, mm. Claude, save the Centurion. Faut foutre la petite fille dans le réacteur. C'est elle qui alimente le réacteur, je suis sûr. Foutez là dedans. We'll be arriving at our deployment point soon. Prepare for land combat immediately. Leave it to me. I'll make sure y'all make it back safe. And the transport trucks, too. I've used every trick in the book to make it this far. We've been pushing the backup engine to run on empty. It's affecting the machinery. If we don't get some more Ragnite soon, the whole system could backfire on us at any moment. We'd be sitting ducks out here. I'd rather not wait for the Empire snipers to pick us off. They wouldn't even have to snipe us. They could just pull up a chair and watch us die. Ugh, I've got goosebumps just oh thinking about it. Ça va, c'est bon? We'll just have to take all the Ragnite the Empire's got and their weapons and ammo while we're at it. Sure. Oh mon dieu, on va mourir. Ah ouais, je crois qu'on va mourir. Ah ouais, on va mourir de faim, de soif. Ouais. Euh, attends, tout compte fait. Ouais, on va sûrement mourir. Ouais. D'accord, c'est bien. C'est bien les conversations comme ça. Oh mon dieu. On a compris, on a compris. Arrête. L'armée d'abord. Après, euh, la gosse, on verra. Fuel is our top priority. But some more food couldn't hurt. Remember though. We're not pillaging. Et pourquoi pas? We're targeting military facilities only. I don't want any civilians caught in the crossfire. <coughs> Claude, do you have a moment? Ah, mais t'as un boulet, Claude. Hein? I made a list of all the supplies we need. Can we go over it? Perfect timing. Let's hash out who's gonna do what. Our first priority is fuel, and then. We park the transport trucks out back behind the warehouse. Then, we distract the guards. Transport trucks? Maybe I can go outside on one. Oula! On 
va devoir utiliser des camions de transport pour dans la mission. Oh mon dieu, c'est qu -ce que... quoi ce bordel On peut pas raser la base Genre, on tue tout le monde et puis après on récupère les trucs tranquilles, non C'est pas mieux We're looking for a blue rose in a window. Oh, putain. Oh, because the rebels are called the blue rose. I guess not all imps are rotten, huh? Blau rose. Blau rose. Okay. This city was originally part of the Nord Republic. The Empire hasn't been in control for long. They want to fight for their homeland, same as us. That's why they're working with the Federation. If they hadn't let us in, we'd have had no choice but to storm the city for our supplies. Bah oui, c'est mieux. Well, I'm glad they're on our side. The less we gotta do, the better. Still, if we get caught, we'll end up prisoners of war. But the resistance... Right. If the Imperials find them, it'll be Einhemmed all over again. I'll have to be careful how we communicate. Shh! Some soldiers are coming. Got this. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Sorry, pal, but it's nap time. Wait, stop! Stop and smell the roses. That's the code. You're with the blue rose? <laughs> Raz, let him go. He's our contact. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry about that. My name is Mika. We already took care of the prep work. Let's go. Okay, follow him. Hmm. Rags, what's wrong? We're leaving. It's un peu étrange. <sighs> Come on, you weird dog. Fine, stay and watch the trucks. <gasps> like la gamine oh, dedans. Rags, were you worried about me? Si à la Valkyrie, alors comment elle s'appelle Cry, cri, mania, cri, quelque chose. I hear it from over there. Si elle est là, ça veut dire que elle aussi c'est une Valkyrie. Yeah, it'll be okay. It's just a little scary. But I... I have to go. Aha! On va voir. Oh! Oh bah! Huh? Are you... the one who called me? No. I haven't called anyone. Oh. It's so pretty. The ice is all shiny. It just looks like a big white field from up on the ship. But I like being in town, too. It's warm and bright. <laughs> is that doggy your friend? Friend? Why well, yes, he's a good friend. He's just like Rags. He looks really smart. You think he'd be friends with me? <laughs> good boy. That's strange. Fenrir usually doesn't like anyone petting him but me. Oh. Winter is coming. <sighs> Huh? <laughs> now Rax is his friend too. Oh, elle a la veste. You. I see now. I. You spoke of a ship, a Federation snow cruiser. Yes. Why would they come to this town? Oh, on est dans la merde. I'm sorry. I don't really remember. You don't remember? I only remember my name. It's 
Yanji. Of course, memory loss. It was like that for some of the others, too. Maybe that's for the best. You might be happier that way. But I don't like not knowing anything. Everyone's working so hard, but I can't do anything to help. All I can do is hide behind them. Nah, mais elle porte pas bien bien la veste. Hein. Elle tombe la veste. Siffle le chien d'Artorias. Il faut quoi ici? <rire> At dinner, everyone only gets two pieces of bread, but they all still share some with me. And when I finally sit down to eat, I have so much bread, I can't even finish it all. And everyone just smiles at me, even though I can hear their stomachs growling. And when I go to bed, they tell me stories, like... Enough! <gasps> so, everyone needs you, and everyone loves you. You must be so happy. You must have so much fun. Do you know how much I wanted a life like that? You want to know who you really are? I'll tell you. Ah. Huh? I'll show you what you can do for all those nice people. Ah, no, 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 no. People who protect you. Ah. No. Tell me. I just want to help. Oh, dear. Very well. In that case. Oh, putain, on va se prendre des, des stalactites dans le ventre. Oh, la vache. Remember who you are. Remember why you are here. Uh, Who I am? On va se prendre des, des blocs de glace dans la tête. Je l'avais dit, hein. Je l'avais dit, hein. Je sais pas pourquoi je vais là, on a rien à acheter. Apparemment si. Oh, on verra ça après. Je suis pas envie de faire ça. J'ai envie de combattre. J'ai envie de combattre.